Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This morning, I'm going to be talking to you about a group, an agency, an entity, an organization that controls not only the United States, but the world. And unfortunately for you, that entity is illegal. However, they hold the power, so there's not much that I could possibly say or do. For legal reasons, I cannot state necessarily who that group or entity is, but just let me say that they've declared war, not only on royalty in the United States, but they've also declared war on the people of the United States and basically the world. And they use a tactic called psychology, reverse psychology, and triple reverse psychology. They use subliminal messages, which is something that this entity has been using for decades and practicing for decades. With their subliminal messages and their reverse and triple reverse psychology, they instill it in the back of your mind without you knowing it, or with you knowing it, so that you understand what they're doing without them telling you what they're doing, which is a really a chicken shit way to do it. And it's really a, a weasel lying way of doing things. Now allow me to introduce myself in case you don't know who I am. My name is Million. Some people call me Prince. Uh, I am a member of several royal families throughout Europe. In fact, my family established, my family created, designed, structured, built Europe. My family did. Now some people are from one king or one queen or one royal person or one royal knight or one baron or duke from here or there or here or there. I'm from every single one of them. They're all in my family tree. Which only means one thing. I am the royal family. You know it, and I know it. The last person in my immediate family tree that held title was King Lord Thomas Stanley. Lord King titular king of Ireland and the Island of Man. He was also Margaret Beaufort's husband and King Henry VII's father. He was my grandfather. King Henry VII's mother was my grandmother. King Henry VII and VIII are both my uncles. Queen Elizabeth I is also my aunt slash cousin. My immediate family is King Rago's family line. My mom has King Rago's last name. My grandma has King Rago's last name. My great grandma, all the way back to King Rago. So therefore, since I have so much royalty in my family line, it's my duty to express what is actually happening and taking place to you guys because obviously nobody else is gonna do it. So here we go. You know, a king's duty is all not always fun in games. You know, though I like to play around, though I like to have fun, you know, it's it can't always be fun in games. And this episode is a perfect example of that. Because there is a war on the European royalty in the United States. And it started with a few different families. 
back in Europe. You see, my family chased a lot of the criminals out of Europe or got rid of the criminals, period. What transpired is that they either left the state, left the country, or left the entire country altogether and came to America. A lot of those criminals started and formed America. Or their descendants started and formed America. Because my family chased them out of Europe. So when my family, the royal family, came over to America in 1600, 17, 1800 to help start America, they killed my family. They pushed my family out of the way. You've been stuck with those people in Washington ever since. I'm also from the Plantagenet family. Queen Elfrida Elfrith, King Rollo, William the Conqueror, King Henry the First, Second, Third, Lord Edward Crouchback. They're all my grandpas, my grandparents. I have a Plantagenet as well, as a Tudor. The Plantagenet family, my Plantagenet family, created the Parliament which created government, which created the House of Lords, the House of Commons. My family created that. If you look back at the beginning of time, the Clifford family, my family, my mom's last name, my grandma's last name, my great grandma's last name, all of them created parliament, which created government, which created the House of Lords, which created the House of Commons, which created all of the overseeing and underlying entities. But not only that, but my Plantagenet family created the military. They created the law enforcement. They created the secret services. Yes, they did. They also wrote the Magna Carta. My family did. They wrote the rules, the laws, the regulations that all of Europe has abided by ever since, for over thousands of years. And the United States adopted those rules and laws from Europe so the United States has also been following my family's laws, the rules and regulations and laws that my family set forth. So basically, in a nutshell, my family created everything. They did. The royal families fought off these criminals in Europe and unfortunately, the war lasted for hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of years and thousands of years. There was only one family that ended when that won the entire 500,000 years of wars. One family remained. Only one family won that entire war. That was my immediate family. As a matter of fact, my grandfather. Thomas Stanley dealt the final blow, the very final blow, that launched Europe into superstardom. So if you say, I don't know what I'm talking about, I think I've got a very good argument that I do know what I'm talking about. These battles raged, and raged, and raged, and the criminals hated, and hated, and hated my family. So when my family tried to come over and start and help the United States, they were pushed, shoved out of the way, cheated, lied, stole the problem, or they were flat out murdered, or they disappeared. And that's still going on today in 2021. Those same people have created a monarchy and it's been the same monarchy in the United States ever since that time frame. Because they don't want people knowing their secrets. So they can't hire from outside, they only hire within. And now they've taken to cloning people, cloning their own people, cloning themselves. 
raising, training, and rearing themselves inside their own facilities so they don't go outside. So basically, in a nutshell, it's a monarchy. They're not letting anybody else in or out of those organizations. Unfortunately today, those criminals are the same criminals and they were good at building weapons. They designed a lot of weapons against humanity. I wish I could say the organization's name, but I think you already know. The United States is crazy. They're mentally unstable. They're using things like Wikipedia as weapons against you. They're controlling people with violence and threats and death. They're doing manipulations through media and through social media, through television and music and radio, advertisements. They hate the royal families and it goes back thousands of years. They created weapons against humanity. They have over 6,000 satellites in space and a couple of those satellites are actually controlling people. Yes, they are. It's like one big gravity beam focused right on people on a, and they can literally move, manipulate, make a person walk places, say things, do things that that person would never normally do. That's one level of their artificial intelligence program, which was designed by the military to be a weapon against humans, and they are using it against humans. Another one is that they're breeding people so they could breed out the royalty because they know the royal family members we don't take their shit we don't we stand up to them because we've been doing what's right for thousands of years they haven't unfortunately all their descendants are over here in America so they're breeding people they're breeding people into breeding people into breeding into breeding so that they can phase out the royal families because the royal families consist of nothing but truth, honesty, justice, and power. They hate that. They're also forcing people with artificial intelligence by doing what's called illegal surgeries. They can literally, they've been working on bodies and cadavers and dead people's bodies for over 75 years. They can literally cut you open, implant or place something within you, seal you back up with this new skin that they developed. Like I said, they've been working on bodies for 75 years. They can grow a nose, an ear, eyeballs, toe, they can grow anything. They just grow skin in their laboratory, put it on you, you'll never know that you were even cut open. Except under certain lights, you can, you can hold it under certain lights and you can see that there was track marks or traces that don't actually belong there. It doesn't look quite right. But you have to look very closely to see that under the right light. Hospitals have medical devices that they use to monitor you from home. They can monitor your heart. They can monitor your body parts. They can monitor this. They can monitor that all from home. Well, this group, this organization has gone one step farther and is now 
using those devices, same medical devices, they've re they've gone a step further and made those devices so that they hurt you. So instead of something monitoring your heart, they can actually use it to close the valves in your heart and you die. Oops, it was an accident. Miraculously, it was an accident. I'm not joking you. This is what they're doing. Like I said, I am the royal family, from the royal family. We don't play games. We tell the truth. They're setting people up who are a threat to them. They've done it to me. They'll set you up to tarnish and discredit your name. They'll set you up to have something against you to blackmail you with. These are the games they're playing. This is why my family chased them out of Europe in the first place. They use places like UCLA, Cedar sinai jails and prisons as their surrogate uh, surgery rooms. They'll use little private offices, private storefronts. They'll even come into your home. And you don't even know it. In, in essence, to put it in a very vague way, basically, you will have been drugged, although not drugged necessarily, but you will have been sort of drugged, and you won't know that they actually have entered your home and come in and done a surgery on you, implanted these things, or injected a disease into you, and you're dead or someone dies, or gets sick. This is how they do these things. Yeah, that's, they want you to accept this as being normal. Like I said, they're not mentally stable in the head. That's why my family chased them out of, them and their families out of Europe in the first place. They use things like double and triple speak. A good example of that is the coronavirus. Corona means crown, as in royalty. In Spanish. Corona is also a beer in Spanish. Corona also means other things in different languages. That's one example of a word that they use that has triple meanings. That's how they like to do things to confuse you. It's called double speak and triple speak and cults like to use those words, those phrases, and those sentences to confuse you, to throw your brain off so that while you're thinking about that, they can do something else. They keep you off balance like a pimp used to do to prostitutes. They kept them off balance. They kept them off guard. They kept them unfocused on what was really happening. They distracted them. These groups and organizations, I wish I could tell you the names, but for legal reasons, apparently I guess I cannot tell you the, their names because of legal reasons. But these groups and organizations are not your friend. They are not your friend. Basically, the only ones that you could trust, if you look back into the history books, you'll see which royal families were the ones that you could trust. Because that's written in history, my friends, and there's thousands of years of royalty throughout those history books, and you can follow along all the way back for thousands of years. This group and organization that I'm talking about has only been in operation for a hundred, maybe two hundred years. You could trace the royal families back thousands of years to see what they've done. And there's only one royal family that actually prevailed and won. Stop, put a stop to all the wars. 
That was my immediate family. As a matter of fact, it was my grandfather, Thomas Stanley. He then placed the crown onto King Henry Tudor's head. King Henry Tudor gave birth to the Tudor family, the House of Tudor, which then gave birth to King Henry VIII, Queen Elizabeth I. They launched Europe into superstardom, and it was my family who put them there. So like I said, you don't have to listen to me. Just read the history books and you can figure that out from there. But I would not trust an organization that has only been in business for one to two hundred years. I would not. They've been changing historical records, mind you, so you might want to be aware of that. They've also taken to Wikipedia and changing historical records, so if you yourself try to go on and verify certain facts, they've actually altered history. Yeah, so that it reflects in their favor, when in fact they were the criminals. So if you go back into the, so if you go on Wikipedia or if you go on some of these other sites, just be wary that if it says something negative about the royal families, it's not true. The royal families did what they had to do, but they were always just and honest because they were the direct lines of Adam and Eve. Direct lines from Adam and Eve. I'm not joking you. So this organization and group has gone in it altered and doctored historical facts, historical documents, including Wikipedia. Uh, so you might want to pay attention to that. If it says anything derogatory, it's not true. Including about me. They've actually gone in and doctored documents about me. They're not true. They're trying to set themselves apart so that they look like they're the heroes, which they're not. They're the farthest thing from it. My family chased them out and their families out of Europe for this very reason. They don't do anything legally. Anything. They do everything illegally. They do everything backwards. They do everything wrong. They have no clue what they're doing and they never have. And they still wonder, 2,000 years later, why things aren't right. They're intentionally manipulating you, the public. In all countries, whatever country you're in, they're manipulating you. They've killed a lot of the white leaders in the United States. And I mean the white leaders, not the jerks or the, the idiots, but they've killed some of the white leaders, the royal family leaders, because they knew that they had the power and the money and the knowledge and wisdom to stand up to them because they knew what they were doing. They removed several from offices, set them up, sent them to prison, sent them to jails, or they flat out murdered them. They've taken over Hollywood. Secretly and covertly, they've silently entered themselves into the market of Hollywood, into the radio, music, television industries, into the studios, and taken over in all sorts of levels. You don't know it, but I know it, because I've been here since the 1980s, so I know what Hollywood is consists of. And this isn't Hollywood. They've also been poisoning people. Foods, waters. They say they're lowering the population levels, because there's 15 billion people on the planet. They're saying, oh, we're, we're doing this to lower the population level. We've got to keep the population down. Too many people on the planet. So they put stuff in your water. They put stuff in your food. Have you wondered why a lot of people are looking sick and sickly these days and ill and not healthy? There you have it. They're the only ones who are shining. Yeah, it's a true story. They wanted to, again, they want to defraud you and set themselves apart so that they look like the heroes, which they're not, because the hero doesn't do this kind of stuff. They want to look like the ones who are shining and happy and healthy. And everybody else looks sickly, so you look at them and like, oh my God, that's a, they're gods, which they're not. 
This is what they're doing to you. I hope you understand that. They've also cut down the vitamin contents in all the foods, so you're not as healthy, by the way. I'm sorry, but this is my job, okay? My job is to tell you the truth. They're creating fake accidents and fake murders and fake crimes using their artificial intelligence. Like I said, they can literally beam down on people or a person or the entire population and force them to do something. They created some mass weapons. And um, you know, I could describe it in detail later, but that's one level. The other second level is they can also do it by inserting things into you. You know, like a frog in high school, right? And we put electricity in a frog's muscle, even though the frog is dead, it makes it jump. That's the starting point of what they have accomplished in 75 years. Now they can control an entire person. They're sick in the head, and they want you to accept this as, re as being normal. They want you to think this is their new world order, which is a bullcrap order. That's why my family chased them out of Europe in the first place. They're garbage. They plan their crimes three to seven years in advance. For one instance, let's say, you know, since I'm from a royal family, let's say, for example, in 2013, if they had forced somebody by their artificial intelligence to allow all women to be successors and heirs to the throne or heirs to the titles, and then three years later, 2016, all of a sudden a woman appears from the United States. Now she's there, now she has the right to take over that throne, that title, which reverts back to the United States. I don't think you understand what I'm saying, but it's really not. They are basically trying to steal, not only that, but the throne. If I could tell you their name, I would, but for legal purposes, I guess I can't. But every crime they plan, they do it three to seven years in advance, including some of my family members. If you look at my family members, they got murdered. Yeah, they murdered about seven of my family members. Look at the time frames. And then look at what happened to me during those time frames. I'm not joking you. My family created Parliament. My family created the House of Lords and the House of Commons and all the royal houses. Even though I'm only related to uh, five immediate royal family houses, I'm literally related to all of them, okay? But five of them are my immediate royal family houses. Now, some people have one, are related to one royal person over here. Some people are related to one royal person over here or over here or over here, right? I'm related to all of them. And that only means one thing. And you know exactly what that means. And so do I. Like I said in some of my videos, I stand with the crown, just like my family did, for thousands of years. Just because I've been in the United States for three, four hundred years, my family's been here three, four hundred years, does not mean that I hold loyalty to anything here. My family built Europe. My family structured Europe. If there's criminals in the United States, I am definitely not standing behind them. And I want that to be publicly known. They're an embarrassment. And they set me up in the past. And they'll probably try to do it again. And just keep in mind, every single one of my royal family members throughout history has been honest and just. And our family 
won all of those wars, put an end to all of those wars, and launched Europe into superstardom. So you can do the math. God bless you. Thank you for listening.